Hi everybody! Welcome to Soul Purpose Yoga. My name is Susan Coffey, that, uh, for those of you who do not know me. And we're going to have a gentle yoga flow via candlelight for evening to de-stress everybody from maybe a long day um, and just getting yourself ready for bed. Uh, so uh, let me just introduce my assistants. This is Monsieur Pierre Popcorn for people that don't know him. And this is Mr. Fenway Park. And he's pretty excited because spring training has started, but he's not happy with the new rules about speeding up the game. Mm -mm -mm. But that's another topic for another day. So um, I'm just going to go over a few things. I did, I do use a lot of props for those who have not taken my class because again, we're going to do a lot of stretching and the um, blocks, bolsters, blankets, pillows all help with uh, getting into a better stretching position, okay? Because if you're hunched over, out of alignment, it's not going to do you any good to do the yoga postures and get anything out of it. I also have a folding chair. Again, don't worry if you don't have one. Um, I was going to just show you. We're not going to, I don't, I should preface that by saying, and for those that have not taken my class, because I can't see you out there, um, I keep all my postures low. We do not do any standing postures, no warriors, no anything like that. The highest we may get is a low lunge. Um, and I really want to emphasize too, if you do not feel comfortable with any posture, if you don't feel comfortable with anything, <laughs> and I do, hopefully you will, but if you don't, you can just watch this whole class. If you just kind of want to get a feel of what yoga is all about. Again, there's all different kind of yogas out there. Mine, um, when I do teach in person is a slow vinyasa. I do a breath to movement. I'm old school yoga, um, no power. Um, I do like heat, but um, no fast movements. Everything to me is about, again, breath to movement, stretching, taking your time slowing it all down. Uh, so I do make a few little recommendations. Again, I'm big on the blocks. And I'm sorry if people have seen me before and they're like, oh, here she goes with the blocks again, but maybe people haven't seen me. If you take this class or you take a class, although usually the studio, actually the studio always provides the blocks, but if you want to uh, even go on YouTube and practice, I would suggest getting two blocks if if anything just two blocks but thick blocks again the other one's a half this size i don't like the half ones because i feel like if you're if you're putting your hands on them or using them for any kind of stability the thicker ones are much better also two um years of running for myself my knees are i have to be careful with my knees so i use a gardening tool because i'm on a hardwood floor you can also use a blanket like popcorn is on, um, a beach towel, just something to protect your knees. Don't ever use a pillow for your knees because you'll be all over the place and your back might go out. We don't want any of that. Uh, yoga strap I probably will use tonight. If you don't have one, that's okay. Uh, you can always use a long scarf and water although we probably won't be sweating unless you put your heat up in your house or you're all bundled up again you can be wearing whatever you want i just want people to be comfortable this is again a nice um slow flow it's not even vinyasa it's just a slow flow yoga class um to just slow it all down rest get ready for bed i do play some music and during Shavasana, I do read a passage and I try to find something that's relevant. A little bit selfish tonight because it's more relevant probably to me, but maybe it will be relevant to you as well, the passage that I picked for tonight. And I think that's about it. So we shall get started. Again, if you do have a folding chair and you want to grab it, go ahead and grab it because I was going to do some stretching with that. Again, sitting down, not, not standing, no standing postures. So you can speed, start like me in Lotus, or you can be laying down. 
We're going to start with breath. I start every class with breath. Again, there's two parts to our nervous system. Also, too, I should tell you I am certified in vinyasa yoga, yin yoga, and I'm also a registered nurse for about 100 years, and I'm still working. So <laughs> I'm going to get a little anatomy in here. So um, two parts to the nervous system, sympathetic and parasympathetic. And the sympathetic is the one that we work on all day long and we're going, going, which is really beneficial. But unfortunately, we're breathing up here. Teeth are clenched, shoulders end up here. We want to take that all down. We want the shoulders relaxed, the jaw relaxed. And we want to really deep breathe to get set up that parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system, the one that helps slow us down get into our postures, get us ready for the evening. Okay, so we're gonna start with breath. And I will cue music um, in a minute, but let's, again, you can be lying down or sitting like me. If you, either way, make sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed. You can also be sitting up against, leaning against a wall if you'd like. Again, shoulders relaxed, slightly open your mouth to unclench the mandible, the jaw. Gently close your eyes and in turn relax the forehead. And we're going to take a deep breath in through our nose. Get all that oxygen deep down into the abdomen. Hold for three, two, one, and then gently exhale out through your mouth. As you exhale out through your mouth, deflate your abdomen. Let's try that again. Inhale through our nose. Let's get all that oxygen deep down into the abdomen, expanding the abdomen, holding three, two, one, and then gently exhaling out through the mouth, deflating the abdomen. I'm going to cue some music. Inhale through your nose. Hold that. Get all that oxygen deep into the abdomen. Expand the abdomen. Hold for three, two, one. And then gently exhale out through your mouth, deflating your abdomen. Inhale through your nose, get all that oxygen deep into your abdomen, expanding the abdomen. Hold for three, two, one, and then gently exhale out through your mouth, deflating the abdomen. So I'm going to let you go on your own. Again, Slow, deep breaths. Relax the shoulders, the jaw, eyes closed. Inhaling slowly and exhaling slowly. This is also a nice time to set an intention for yourself, for a loved one, somebody that may not be with us, that means the world to us, maybe out to the universe, out to the world, just a positive intention.
Let's all take one deep breath in together through our nose. Get all that oxygen deep into the abdomen. Expand the abdomen. Hold for three, two, one. And then gently exhale out through your mouth, deflating your abdomen. Great. Now for those that were lying down, you can turn slowly to your side. Take your time and meet us in Lotus. So we're going to shake our legs out because I know my legs and possibly yours too get a little stiff. So we're going to point and flex, point and flex point and flex and shake those legs out and then what leg was in the front can go in the back and what leg was in the back can be in the front we're just going to do a little bit of a warm-up here so we're going to inhale the arms up exhale the left arm over and bring that right arm all the way over towards the left exhale the right arm down we're going to do a little a little faster, but not again. This is a slow class, so I'm just trying to get us warmed up. And exhale, left arm goes over. You can bend that right arm. Inhale the left arm down. I'm sorry, exhale the left arm down. Inhale the right arm up, over to the left. Exhale the right arm down. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale the left arm down, inhale that right arm over. Exhale the right arm down, inhale the left arm up. Inhale one more time, that left arm down, and then inhale that right arm up. Exhale the right arm down. Great, and let's bring our hands to the center. And let's shake those legs out again. And we're going to bring those legs back to Lotus. And we're just going to sit up a little bit here. And let's just going to do a little um, neck exercise. If you have any um, cervical disc problems, bone spurs, any kind of a cervical stenosis, just you can sit and just watch or just go to what you're comfortable with. OK, so we're going to exhale down. And then inhale as far back as what's comfortable to you. I go pretty, pretty far back. You don't have to go this far, you can modify. Exhale down. And again, if you have any problems with your neck, you can just, you can just sit in stillness and watch. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale back. And exhale down. And then inhale to stillness. Great. So I'm going to bring that chair over. Actually, first, no, first I'm going to do a, um, while well, we're still in Lotus, first I'm actually going to do a chest opener. And this pec area here and getting back at the uh, traps and uh, scapulas and the trapezius because again a lot of us are looking down all day long young medium old age everybody is kind of like so and I always say disconnect to reconnect <laughs> because I'm not I'm not a real big fan of um, I shouldn't say it's sorry modern technology but one of the reasons is being because a lot of us are rounding and so that also helps to not helps but that also develops a lot of uh, cervical stenosis problems as we age a lot of these issues happen anyway but it's happening even with younger people now which is which I'm seeing which is not good and I know it's because we're constantly like this so we want to open this all up so if you have a yoga strap or a long scarf. You can maybe wrap it around once. You want it long. You want your arms out. And I'm going to show you how to do it without a strap as well. But we're going to exhale down. 
and then inhale, but inhale only as far as this may be the farthest you can go, okay? I'm gonna inhale it all the way back. Again, if this is not comfortable to you, please don't go all this, all this way back. Exhale down. Inhale back. Exhale down. Inhale back. Really opening up that whole pec chest area. Exhale down. For those that have the strap, continue on. For those that do not, take your arms out in front of you, make a fist, and then bend your elbows 90 degrees and goal post, okay? And as you go push, you're gonna inhale and you're gonna bring those shoulders back and then exhale down. Inhale up. And as you go up goal post, try to get those shoulders back. Exhale down. I know it can be difficult because a lot of people have really tight shoulders. My shoulders are pretty tight too, so I get it, believe me. And then exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. And we'll just do a couple more together. Strap or no strap. Exhale down. Inhale back. Exhale down, inhale back, and then exhale down, great. And that's something you may want to do every day, especially if you are on a computer all day long or even driving. We're kind of like this, we want really to open that up. Um, it's so beneficial. Okay, so I'm going to grab my folding chair. And again, if you don't have one, that's okay. I just figured it might help with a little bit of, I'm going to do a uh, sitting fold forward. And so what the sitting fold forward is, you wanna to try to get your chest as close to the top of your thighs while trying to reach your feet. And I know for a lot of us, including myself, that's a little bit difficult. It's like, ah. Uh, so if you don't have a chair, that's okay. If when we go forward, if you can only go to your thighs or your calves, that's okay. All right, everybody, I know not everybody, but I see some people, they're determined to get to their, stretch their feet, but their body is totally out of alignment. So it's not, it's kind of like, what's that expression? It's not getting, it's the journey, not getting there with, <laughs> something to that familiar, but that's kind of the thing. So um, again, if you have a folding chair, you can take it like so, flex your feet. Okay, we're gonna inhale our arms up. Now, the important part, before we actually you can bring your arms back down, because another thing I do want to explain that's really important, you wanna be looking at something straight ahead whenever you're coming forward. You don't wanna be coming forward like so. It's easier this way because then you can touch, get to your feet easier. However, your shoulders, you're all, you're all humped over. Mm -mm. You wanna be leading with your chest. You may not get there, get down as far, that's okay. You wanna be, so you want your chest open. You wanna be leading with the chest, looking at something straight ahead. So we're gonna inhale those arms up, take the palms facing out, and then exhale, but lead with the chest, keep those feet flexed, Continue, continue, continue. Okay, so this is about as far as I'm gonna go. I'm grabbing the chair, I'm gonna bring it towards me, and I'm gonna continue exhaling. And I can feel this all the way. Now I can kind of let my head go, because this is as far as I'm gonna go. Inhale, stillness, exhale, maybe come a little bit forward. Inhale, stillness, Exhale, maybe a little bit forward. And then I'm going to inhale back up. I'm going to take it slow. So we're going to pull that chair a little bit forward. Oh, I think, okay. 
and we're gonna take the legs and flex the feet again, sit up straight. We're gonna do a full forward, but this time with our legs open this way here. So inhale the arms up, yes, bend my left, palms facing out. And again, exhale, but lead with that chest. Flex the feet. Exhale and come down. And hopefully you're feeling this on the inside of the thighs, the, in, the calves as well. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale stillness, exhale, maybe come a little bit forward. Try to keep those feet flexed. Now, some of you may be able to just touch your feet great without the chair. I'm just trying to show you how the chair can be really, really helpful as far as getting a little bit forward. And again, some of you may not need it. And let's slowly come out of that. And let's take our feet and kind of just shake them out. And we're gonna do one more with the chair. Again, if it was a, um, if we were standing, we would do a lot more with the chair, but since we are not, um, I'm just gonna do another one. I'm gonna do child's pose. So. Child's pose, we can do it either without the chair, so you would bring your toes um, together, knees out, inhale your arms up, again, palms facing forward, and then exhaling and coming forward, leading with that chest. And then arms go straight out, and the forehead on the mat or on a block, Inhale and exhale, and I love this delicious child's pose because you're opening up the hip flexors, the hips, you're stretching the lower back, mid back, and shoulders. Now, some of you may not be able to get your buttocks to your heels. You can maybe put a bolster, which I have here, or a couple of pillows behind your buttocks, and that may maybe help you get a little bit further into the child's pose posture. And again, for those of you who are really tight and that's okay you want to work on a flexibility you can inhale your arms up have the if you have the chair look straight ahead palms facing forward inhale again and then exhale and come forward and place your hands on the chair and then the head the forehead on against the chair or You can bring the chair out even a little bit forward and place your hands on the side to just try to get down a little bit further into the child's pose. Because I know sometimes people have a hard time getting all the way down. So that's why I brought the chair in last week and this week. Inhale and exhale. And if you're comfortable, you can take your hands and kind of walk them down if you'd like and help you get a little bit further into that child's pose. And this is a resting posture. Helps lower our heart rate. And we'll slowly come out of this. Great. And if you're using the chair, you can remove the chair. Again, you don't have to use a chair. I just brought it in because I do notice that sometimes that does help us get into the posture a little bit better, especially if you're tight. <clears throat> so let's go back into our table. So with our table, our knees are hip width apart. 
Our hands are, of course, underneath our shoulders. The fingers are spread out, and this is our table. Try to be aware of the abdomen. That's your core. You want that tight, okay? So we're actually going to sit back again, just like so. Do a little bit of an exercise here. We're going to inhale up. And then exhale. And then inhale the arms up as you come up yourself and your knees are 90 degree angle. Exhale to the side. Inhale the arms up. And if you can, exhale that right hand towards your right. You're doing a back bend here, your right heel. Inhale the arms up and then exhale down. And try that again. Inhale up. Exhale over to the side. Inhale, arms back up. And then exhale that right hand towards that right heel, doing a nice back bend. Exhale up. And bring the arms down. We'll do that on to the left foot. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, arms back up. And then exhale that left hand down and then gracefully try to bring that right arm. And then exhale, inhale the arm back up and then exhale down. Inhale the arm up, exhale over to the left. Inhale the arm back up. And then exhale that left hand down towards or onto that left heel and then exhale out that right arm up. Inhale the arms back up and then exhale right back down to our table. And let's take a quick, not I don't like to say quick, but let's take a little bit of a child's pose here. Again, if you wanna grab your chair, go right ahead. We're just going to counterpose what we just did to stretch that lower back out. And let's inhale back up to our table. And we're gonna do our, actually before we do our cat cow, which is really great for your ba um, back and for your hips, we'll go, I like to get at the toes. So we're gonna bend the, those feet. And I probably should take my socks off so you can see better. <laughs> it's a little chilly today. It's like when and when is summer coming? <laughs> oh. Well, maybe because I was born. Well, actually I was born in the spring, but it was June. But anyway, I, I'm a summer gal. So we're going to go back into our um, table. Let's bend those toes. And this is as far as you want, may want to go, which is perfect because you're bending the toes. We're also getting at that fascia that goes from the top of the foot to the heel. And again, when that gets, the fascia gets tight, plantar fasciitis. And as you know, anything that ends in itis is not good. So you can stay here. You can rock back and forth if you'd like, trying to remember to keep that abdomen in. Or if you're so inclined, without it being a yikes moment, as I call it, exhale all the way back, hands on the top of your thighs. And then again, be inhaling and exhaling. If this is too much, if it's too much of a bend for your toes and really stretching that fascia, you can go back down into a table. Otherwise, we're gonna inhale and exhale here. Get those feet moving. Especially for us up here in the north, northeast and north, where we're wearing boots all winter long. Our feet are like, oh, we want to be out. We want to be moving around. So this is a good little exercise to do. 
and then we're gonna come back down into our table and let's spank the top of those feet out. Okay, so let's do our cat cow. So we're gonna drop the belly, slightly lift the buttocks, slightly lift the chin on the inhale. This is our cow. Before we go into cat, really tighten that abdomen. Then we round and exhale, look right through our thighs. Drop the belly, slightly lift the buttocks, slightly lift the chin, inhale, cat, I'm sorry, cow. <laughs> Can't remember, it looks like a cow to me, sorry. And then we're gonna tighten that abdomen and then we're gonna round on the exhale and we can really accentuate that cat. Inhale, drop the belly, slightly lift the buttocks, slightly lift the chin, inhale. Tighten that abdomen and then exhale. Really round that back. And exhale to center. And you probably know where I'm gonna go with this to counter pose. Sit back into our child's pose. And again, if you need to grab the chair, go right ahead. And then we'll slowly, slowly come out of this and come back into our tabletop. And so we're going to do a um, side bend here or a side plank. So we're going to exhale, move this, and bring that right lower extremity out to the side and then bring that left leg extended all the way out. So your knees on a pad, hopefully, and then inhale that left arm up, opening up this whole shoulder area. You can stay right here. A few options. You can exhale and bring that arm all the way over towards the right. Inhale it back up if you want, and then do a little balance here. Flex that left leg and really use that core to keep that left leg up. It's a modified side plank. And then exhale the left arm down, left knee down. We'll meet again at table. Let's exhale and bring that left lower extremity out to the side. Left hand goes to the top of the mat in the middle. Right leg extends all the way out. Inhale that right arm up and you can stay right here. You can exhale and really get a nice stretch. Bring that right arm all the way over to the left. You can inhale that right arm back up and then do a little balance, lifting that right leg up, flexing the foot, squeezing the right buttock. Keeping that abdomen tight, looking at something that's not moving because this is a balance posture. And then inhaling and exhaling. And if you want, I forgot to do on the other side, you can grab the top of that <clears throat> right foot and push that right foot into the right hand. And really opening up that right hip flexor. And let's let it all go. Bring that right hand down. And we're back into our table. Great. And let's just do a little bit of a, let's just go forward a little bit of a round here, just going around clockwise and then counterclockwise. And we'll do another balance pose uh, posture here. Let's bring that right, extend that right leg out be looking at something you don't want your head looking up you want to be looking straight ahead abdomen in inhale that left arm up and you can stay right here 
you'd like a little bit more to go a little further, again, it's up to you. I modify everything. You can inhale, squeeze that right buttock, inhale that right leg up, right foot is flexed. You're looking at your dristy. That is something that's not moving right in front of you. You can stay right here. If you want to go a little bit further, flip that palm, grab the top of the right foot and push that right foot in. Inhaling and exhaling. And looking at something that's not moving, this is a balance posture. And then exhale down, great. So let's exhale that left leg out and let's just take the ball of the left foot and just kind of go back and forth in the ball of that left foot, abdomen in, looking straight ahead. Inhale the right arm up. You can stay right here. Again, we're balancing. You can inhale that left leg up. Keep the left foot flexed. Don't forget to be breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Or you can flip that right palm out and grab the top of the left foot and push that left foot in. And slightly look up just a bit if you're going this far. And then exhale down. And we'll go right back into our child's pose. Really stretching out that lower back. Let those shoulders relax. Slowly take your time, come out of this. Anytime you're in a low position coming, hey, you did the puppy pose, good boy. And then take your time. We're gonna go back into our table. We're going to do eagle arms. So, and I'm gonna modify eagle arms as well. So we're gonna sit back, and buttocks on our heels. Let's bring those arms out. So two different ways to do this. You can take your right hand onto your left shoulder, your left hand onto your right shoulder. This is modified eagle arms. You want them up. You don't want them down here. You want them up. If you can, you can bring your um, two hands together. I still have a little bit of a hard time getting them totally to meet, but I'm getting better. So inhale up. So if you want to do that this way here or you want to do the full eagle arm you would take that right arm underneath the left bring it all the way around and then the hands meet but you want it up and again this may be too much for your shoulders and the back of your the back of your shoulders because I can feel that as well go and put your hands on uh, crossover into and then onto each um, top of the shoulder. You want your hands up, eagle arms. We're gonna inhale up, keep those arms up, and then just inhale, and then exhale and come forward. Not sitting down, we're just gonna come forward slightly. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And then one more. Exhale down. And then inhale up. And then exhale and open those arms. Oh, feels great. And bring those arms down to your side. Let them go. So that was eagle. Eagle arms and modified eagle arms. So we're going to do that on the other side, if I can remember which arm went over the other one up. So we arms go out. Actually, so in the beginning, we can sit back on our heels. Arms go out. So this time, you're going to take that right hand onto the left shoulder and then the left arm onto the right shoulder. Hopefully, I've got that right. 
and you can stay right here modified eagle arms you want to make sure that they're up okay so the left is so if you want to do the full eagle arms you would take your right hand your right arm underneath your left no nope, i'm sorry your left underneath your right so your right hand is on your left shoulder the left hand is on the right shoulder so either way i'm sorry so this would be how we're doing it. If you wanted to do the full, you would bring it around. Sorry about that. So your left hand would be meeting your right. That's a full eagle arm. So either way, you can have it on your shoulder or you can have it this way. And I know, again, it's hard to get into this position because as you can see, I'm not fully, 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 fully there yet. But it's a really good, um, helps with getting your shoulders um, loosened up your shoulders and then once we let go really really opening up the chest so we're going to inhale up get on, on our knees and then let's exhale and slowly bring it down inhale up you want those arms all the way up exhale down Inhale up, one more, exhale down. Inhale up, because if we were standing, we would be doing basically that, but with, with standing. And then let's exhale and let those arms oh, come all the way and open them up. Exhale, we'll come back down. And let's go into our child's pose to counterpose that. Slide those arms out, forehead onto the mat, knees out, toes touching, inhaling and exhaling. And again, if you have a hard time reaching down to the mat, you can always grab a chair. And again, let's slowly, whenever you're down, your head is down, if you're coming to back up again, take your time. No rushing, because a lot of times you rush and you're, you can get woohoo, a little dizzy, especially if you're on any kind of antihypertensive medications, um, that going from low, and that's even if you're sitting, Sometimes if you're on an anti blood pressure medication, if you're sitting and you get up really fast, it's like, woo. So always try to keep that, be conscious of that as well. So we're gonna do one more and then we'll get on our back. I'm gonna do pigeon pose. And that's why I grab the pillows. Cause I do think that maybe helps people get into the pigeon pose a little bit better. If you wanna just watch, that's fine. If you wanna do it on your back at figure four, you can do that as well. Um, and pigeon pose is really good for each side of your buttock. That piriformis muscle that is on each side of your buttock, it's like a strip that's very, very deep, deep, deep inside. And when that gets tight, which it does from driving and sitting, it can cause sciatica, go all the way down your leg. It can actually go this way and cause lower back pain. So that's why I like to bring a pigeon in every class that I do. So we're gonna go back into table walk the hands out and then exhale and bring that right knee to the right foot let's place the weight on the ball of that left leg i'm sorry left foot so the knee rises but the leg does not and then we shimmy one of my favorite words that right lower extremity again i think i say it every class do not lift that lower extremity to get into the position please uh, a lot of people think that, that the lower limb has to be parallel. As you can see, mine is not, because this is as far as I can go. Um, it does not have to be. So that's really important. I've, you know, I always emphasize that too if I'm teaching in studio. Don't lift the leg. Um, so I like the pillow just because you kind of place it underneath this side, the right buttock. I think it helps people get into it a little bit better. Bring that left knee down, the top of the left foot, slide it back. Pigeon. Now you can stay up here. 
You can get on your forearms or you can bring your hands, you can kind of make a little fist to bring your forehead onto your hands. And what we're doing is getting at that piriformis on the right buttock. So inhale and exhale. Don't forget to take sips of water as needed. And I can feel that actually stretching. I can feel that piriformis muscle on the right side, the right buttock stretching. I can actually feel that. So hopefully you are too. Now let's slowly again come out of this, rise up, come onto our hands, take our time getting out of it. Let's place our weight on the ball of that left foot, lifting that knee sliding the pillow out but keeping it handy and then bringing that left knee down to meet the right and we're back in our table position actually i won't use the pad i probably should but i'm not going to use it right this second we're going to walk our hands out keep in mind keep that abdomen strong and then i'm going to exhale and bring that left knee to the left hand we're gonna take the, put the weight on the ball of that right foot. And then that's gonna give us time, let me move this so you can see. So I'm shimmying, it's such an old fashioned word, shimmying that left lower extremity. And again, this is about as far as I can get because the most important thing here too, don't lift, is you want the knee and the hip on the same plane. You don't want your knee out here, your hip here, or your hip out there. So just bring it to what's comfortable to you. And remember, try to keep it all on the same plane, okay? Then I bring my pillow and place it underneath. Again, it, I just think if it gets, because people do have a little bit of a hard time getting into it. I just think placing that pillow kind of lets people rest and kind of get into it a little bit better. So bring that right knee down, the top of the right foot, slide it back, we're in pigeon. You can stay up here you can go on to your forearms or you can make a lift fist and place your forehead on the fist. And again, what we're trying to do is get at the piriformis on the left buttock. And also too, the hip, hip flexors are all involved in this. So just inhale and exhale. And let's slowly take our time coming out of this. Place the weight on the ball of that right foot, bringing that right knee up, removing the pillow, bringing that right knee down, and the right will meet the left. We're gonna cross over at the ankle, sit back and do a full body stretch. And you can use your pillow, you can put your head on a pillow if you want. You don't have to. So actually, before we come back, let's take the three fingers and interlace the two index fingers and then cross the thumb. And then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, come down. Exhaling. Now, arms go overhead. Point those toes. Full body stretch. Don't forget to be inhaling and exhaling here, okay? 
So we're gonna go into um, butterfly and there's two ways to do it. So first we're gonna exhale and move my pillow. And again, if it's uncomfortable, you don't need to have a pillow. I'm gonna bring those arms out to the side with the palms up. And then I'm going to inhale and bring both soles of the feet together so I'm in butterfly. So this is really good for the hip flexors and the hips. Arms go out to the side. This is very restorative. I like to be a, not a silent butterfly, what is still butterfly. Some people like to flutter, but I like to be in my stillness. So you can either flutter or be in stillness. If this is too much for the hip flexors, which it can be, you can straighten your legs out, come back into it, come out of it, or you can just even, if it's way too much, you can just straighten your legs. Inhale and exhale. Now, if you're comfortable with this, stay in that position. If you have the props, we can go into it a little bit deeper. So those that are comfortable where you are, stay where you are. For those that may have the props, meaning a bolster or some pillows and blocks, We're gonna take one block flat, another block slanted. I'm gonna place my bolster on the slanted or two pillows. First, I'm gonna get comfortable. Oopsie. Get my back, my, my small, my back up against the bolster and lay back. My whole spine is on that bolster or on two pillows, bringing those arms out. So it, he really even helps open those arms up even more. And then I bring the soles of my feet together and just melt into this. Again, you can do it without the props or with the props. So if you haven't fallen asleep, <laughs> for those that have the props, for those that don't, you can still stay in your butterfly. For those that have the props, let's gently sit up, remove the bolster, remove the blocks, lay back with into our butterfly. Now all together, we're gonna to inhale and bring those knees in. Continue the inhale and bring the knees into and bring towards your forehead, lifting your upper body, giving yourself a nice hug. You can go elbow to elbow. Some of you may not be able to go elbow to elbow. If you can't, bring one hand under one knee, one under the other knee. Just give yourself a nice hug, great job. And then we'll slowly come down and bring those knees down. So for those of you who could not do pigeon forward, and again, no judgment. I just know some bodies, you know, some people have never even done it. So I totally get it. Um, 
Let's do figure four and then into our lying pigeon, okay? So let's just bring the small of the back into the mat for just a couple of seconds here, just to make it kind of go back and forth. Exhale out and then inhale that small of the back, just going back and forth with the hips. Small of the back, and you can place your head on a pillow. We're gonna inhale that right leg up. The hands go behind, interlace behind the right thigh. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. And then we're gonna exhale, we're gonna bend that right leg at a 90 degree angle and bring the, that right ankle above the left knee. This is our figure four. So if you wanna go into lying pigeon, Let's try to use our core, our abdomen, without using our, our arms. You may need to use your hands and your arms, but you can also try to use your core. So we're gonna exhale, and then inhale, and bring, flex that left foot, flex the right foot, and bring that left leg up. As you're bringing that right calf closer in. Now you can bring your hands behind your left thigh. Exhale out and inhale and try to bring it closer. So this is our lying pigeon. So again, we're get, trying to get at that piriformis muscle on the right buttock. Inhale and exhale. And this may be better for some of you than doing forward pigeon. And then release, let the left foot down, and then the right foot down. Inhale that left leg up, and you can place your, interlace your hands behind your left thigh. Point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. And then exhale, bending that left knee 90 degrees, left ankle above the right knee. And again, we're gonna to try to use that core. So the left foot is flexed. Let's inhale and keep that right foot flexed and bring it all the way in. Then hands can go behind the right thigh, interlace, exhale out, and then inhale and try to bring it closer to your body. So what we're trying to do is again, get at that piriformis, but on the left buttock this time. And you may feel, if you've done the forward and you, do, you did the forward and you did this one, you may feel this one better. So you can always go, you can always do the lying pigeon versus the forward. But it's just really good for your hips. Oh, here's my song, my summer song. I was listening to WMEX. For those of you who remember WMEX, you can actually find it. I found it by accident on 15 10 a.m. on my transistor radio okay i'm totally dating myself i couldn't believe it i'm like wait a minute wmex i haven't heard that since the 60s you can get it and actually this is one of the songs they play they play everything from the 50s to mm, probably the beginning of the 80s i'd say i mean songs that i was like oh my god i love that song anyway it's it's 15 10 a.m and it's WMEX. We put a little plug in for them. <laughs> and they even go back into trivia. So let's go back down, meaning <clears throat> they'll talk about places that, what something cost back in like 1965, like a gallon of milk or, uh, you know, butter or, or stores that we hadn't even thought of, but they haven't been around, Turnstile, Gilchrist. Okay. Anyway, it's a fun station. <clears throat> so from here, let's do a little bit more <clears throat> stretching. Let's inhale, both legs up, arms out to a T, and the legs are bent, and we're gonna bring those knees over to the right 
I hate to talk during this song, but I have to. And we're gonna slowly bring those knees over to the right using our core, okay? Don't plop them down. So inhale, and then exhale, take your time. And once they're down, you can gaze over, if neck allows, you can gaze over your, to your left hand. And if anyone is younger out there and you don't know what I'm talking about when I say WMEX, <laughs> actually, you may want to listen to it. It's actually, you may actually like some of the music because I know my parents' generation I liked a lot of the big band stuff. So let's inhale and exhale. And again, let's use our core and bring those knees up to center. Use that core very slowly. There we go. So we're going to bring those knees over to the left. The arms stay out. Again, really try to use that core. Inhale. And then exhale over to the left. Take your time. Once they're down, gaze over that right hand. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's inhale, use that core, bring those knees back up. Great, give yourself a nice hug. You can, you don't have to bring your upper body, you can just kind of go back and forth. I'm just gonna see, oh, what time? Okay, so we're gonna do a legs up against the wall or waterfall. So if you wanna go up against the wall, you would approach the wall with your knees bent Inhale the right leg, inhale the left, arms out. And this is so good for your circulation. You're getting all that fluid going all the way through the circulatory system. Every circulatory part of the system, uh, your body. If you don't wanna go up against the wall, you can grab a block, which I'm gonna do, and then we call it waterfall. Bend your knees. The small of the back is on the mat, bring those heels close into your buttocks, watch that neck, make sure it's neutral. Inhale, place the block under the coccyx sacrum area, make sure it's comfortable, you can come in and out of this if it isn't. Inhale the right leg up, inhale the left arm splay out, waterfall. So either way, legs up against the wall or waterfall. And just enjoy this. This is so good for your circulation. I can't emphasize it enough. Again, this is something you can do on your own if you're sitting all day, driving. If you, even just if you're watching TV, you can just do it. This is a resting, winding down before Shavasana. So normally we would stay in, you could stay in a little bit longer, but because we're, um, you know, time-wise, I have to be cognizant of the time. We're going to bring the, if you're on the block, right leg down, left leg down, inhale, remove the block and come into a full body stretch. If you're up against the wall, left leg down, right leg down, bend your knees, everybody meets in a full body stretch. And then you can stay laying down flat. 
or you can grab some water, you can grab some blankets, you can grab, I'm gonna grab some um, hot chakra spray that I have. You can always use a lotion, lavender, preferably for the evening. Place it on my forehead, temple, and my neck. And also too, I forgot to mention, if you have incense, you can always light incense. And I would always suggest getting an incense holder. I should have mentioned that in the beginning of the class. So lie down, get comfortable, get, your, get warm. I'm going to dim my lights. I'll try to shut them off actually. There we go. So start relaxing your feet. Relaxing your legs. <clears throat> Relaxing your arms, relaxing your shoulders. Make sure that your mouth is slightly open because you want to relax that jaw. Gently close your eyes, relax your forehead. And just start thinking about something, again, that makes you feel really good. It can be a trip that you're looking forward to, a trip that you just took. It can be something that your child, grandchild, something that makes you feel happy inside. I know that sounds cliche, but you can start there. Just something that makes you feel kind of warm and fuzzy. Again, because it's winter, mine again is the palm trees and the turquoise water and the white sand and the chaise lounge chair. <laughs> and again, your thoughts are gonna ebb and flow, let them ebb and flow. I never left you. I watch you every day. I'm always very near. I know deep in your heart, you realize I am here. I watch you while you sleep in your bed at home. I hear you when you speak to me. When you are on your own, you cannot understand the reason why I have gone. But I will never leave you. I am there to keep you strong. Talk to me. I hear you. Though you may not see me, we share an unbroken bond. 
that'll always be. For our love is forever. Just remember me in your heart. In one day, we will be together. But in the meanwhile, live your life and live it full. Don't waste a single day. Remember, I am always with you every step of the way by John F. Connor. So you can start wiggling your toes. And that was for Jackie. Wiggling your arms. And for those that want to stay lying down, you can stay lying down. For those who want to come back to Lotus, don't come back yet. Just go over to your right or left side and give yourself like a nice side hug. Take your time. For those who want to come up, slowly come up to Lotus and we will finish the class. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Bring our hands to our lips so we speak kind words to one another, especially now. Between our eyes, also known as our third eye, also known as our intuition, that we think kind thoughts of others, but we also think kind thoughts of ourselves. Back to heart center, that the light in me acknowledges the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. <sighs> Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you got something out of it. Have a great evening, a great week. And you can always um, interact with me via email, soulpurposeyoga at gmail.com. Soul being spelled like the Latin version of sun, S-O-L. And again, my name is Susan Coffey. Have a great week, everybody. Peace.